Glad you did it. Okay. We're all right. No, we're not. It's time for another raw revival. I mean, revival. I mean, re review. Hey. We've we'll up the show with Broad. Oh my god. And he's been boring. Really? Yeah, he's saying he's gonna cash in his money in the bank at Hell in a Cell. Oh. Well, Where's the Adam in a surprise, damn it? He doesn't do surprise. He, he he wants to do it man to man, <laughs> face to face. Real heel esque of him. <laughs> Should remind him that the last person that did cash it in face to face ended up, you know, losing. Mm. Yeah. Well, we got some dirty shenanigans going on right now. The acting raw general managers in action next. Well, weren't Roman in that first segment? Yeah, he was just there. I'm gonna beat you. Yeah. Yeah, big dog stuff. The be my yard. My yard. The shield, what, what the shield do? Yeah, we. Oh, right, on a more interesting stuff. <laughs> the acting general manager, Baron Corbin. Oh, oh, oh. And he still ain't, he still ain't through a thin balla. <laughs> Um, be honest. Oh yeah, it was a pretty uh, humorous promo by him. He was like, "No, I didn't sign up for a match with him from Battle of the Demon. Uh, he signed up for the Man. Uh, so that match, it don't count." Oh. No. Right. All I remember of this match is the ending. Baron. Hit Finn out in the gut with a steel chair. Ooh. And the ref called for the DQ. And Baron grabbed the microphone and said, Sorry, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I neglected to inform everybody this is a no DQ match. <laughs> then he hit Finn Balor over the back with the steel chair. Oh, man. And then he met his end of days. Gosh, oh, how do you forget something like that? And the Baron picks up the victory. Unbelievable. What? Oh, and then we had a bit of backstage thing with planning with Apollo Crews and Dana Brooke. Oh, God. And Titus went, he's got, he's got our match tonight. Oh. A warm-up match for the women's pay-per-view. Oh. And it was like, oh, who's it, who's it against? Sasha Beck. Ugh. And Apollo was like, what the hell, man? You can't put her against Sasha Banks. <laughs> this great confidence there, Apollo. <laughs> oh. oh, man. So, and conveniently, that match was a mix. Yeah. Funny how these things work out. It was okay. Like I said, they don't do a lot with Dana Brooke in the ring. No, they really don't. But she did all right. She did the uh, the handspring elbow. But come on, people! Ultimately, you knew which way this was going to go. Yeah. Backstabber. Yep. A bank statement. And then tap, tap, tap a room. Mm. You are not Chubbs Peterson, man. <laughs> May you rest in peace. Is he dead? <laughs> Storyline. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Carl Weathers is still alive. <laughs> mm, he's still with us. <laughs> well, next, we got some Intercontinental title defense match. Yeah, Seth came out and said that, yep, he's bringing it back, the open challenge. Anybody who wants to step up and take it, come out. And who answered the call? Oh, it was KO. Now, this bit I did particularly like, because being in Canada, and Kevin Owens being Canadian, mm. naturally, he's going to get cheered for. Yeah. 
but he quickly turned it on its head. No. Oh. <laughs> and said, yeah, he's happy he's Canadian, but he wishes that he was in Toronto. No. Oh. Not Montreal. Oh. And the crowd quickly started booing him. <laughs> Frustrating night for KO. It was a good match. Should should be a good match. There was a lot of good reversals in here. Yeah. Kevin Owens went for his moonsault. Oh. He doesn't pull that out of the bag very often. No. Missed though, unfortunately. Right. But it looked good. You were mm. like, wow, how is a big man like that doing a moonsault like that? Mm. But no, unfortunately, Kevin Owens got hit with that devastating, not the roll-up, <laughs> the curb stomp. Oh. Uh, Seth picks out the victory after the match. Kale wasn't happy. And he's done venting his frustration. He's grabbed the microphone and said, I quit. Yeah. And he walked out of the ring. Come back, Kale. <laughs> I did like his, his promo. Before though, where he did mention Sami Zayn, yeah. he's like, oh, "I would have beat Braun Strowman if Sami Zayn was by my side. <laughs> He'd still be the Universal Champion if Sami Zayn was still around." Yeah. And it was like, mm, well, "You probably wouldn't." <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Mm. Some tag team action next. Yeah, got the revival. Oh dear. And the B team. B team, B team, go, go, go. Terrible. Utterly terrible thing. You know, what's funny? You know, YouTube has this likes and dislikes system. Well, they put up the B team's music a couple of weeks ago. Mm-hmm. And this was pretty funny. And it actually has more dislikes than likes. <laughs> I don't know how you manage it. <laughs> oh dear. It was alright. I'm not particularly a fan of either team. It's got to be said. But all we were bothered about was the finish. Bo Dallas had been taken out. And then now uh, Wilder and Dawson got it. Cheeky tag. And that was the end. Kurt Axel got hit with the Shadow Machine. Oh dear. And the really... B team's winning streak is over! Oh no. Does that mean the Revival might get a tag title shot at some point down the road? Uh, Another one? I'd like to think so. Christ almighty, Jim Cornette might finally have something positive to say. There's, um, well, the. Apart from tights worldwide, what other tag teams have you got on Raw? For God's sake, just give it to the Authors of Pain. Ooh, AOP. I know normally I like, I like the slow build-up, but... Yeah. Just give it to them, they're ready for it. Oh, next. It was your mum's favourite part of the show. Hey. It was time to walk with Elias. <laughs> yep, he had a new song. The thing for all the people. Uh -oh. Which, you know, it goes, it quickly turned to him insulting. I think he made a hockey reference. What is the, the, the hockey cup? Is it the Stanley Cup in hockey? Yeah, that's the trophy they play for you. Yeah. Well, he pretty much ran down the team and said they're probably never going to win it. Which is true, because they haven't won it in like 50 years. Hmm. Are you in Toronto or Montreal? I don't remember. Yeah. I know one of them was the, I the think Maple we're, Leafs. I think we're in Toronto. Because Kevin Owens is from Montreal. Mm. I think it's Montreal Maple Leafs. Right. Yeah. But. Elias got interrupted. Oh, by who? Was it Bob? <laughs> no, it wasn't Bob. Ah, this was a big surprise. There was 
Not only Hall of Famer Trish Stratus. Different. And uh, well, I had a few choice words for her. <laughs> yeah, this was good. Uh, yeah, he got away with a few things I didn't expect him to. He said, oh, are we going to have a, like a, a laundry pillow fight? Oh. And ended with Elias getting the slap of doom. Well, and he took a shot. He said, like, oh, you should be changing diapers, not lacing up boots. Oh. Really Well, no, uh, this, who did it bring out next? It was, ah, yeah, Bliss and Fox came out. <laughs> oh, dear. Hyping up their match at Evolution. She basically ran her down, said that she's old, she don't deserve to be in the ring with the goddess. Oh, God. And this was setting up the next match. Natalia versus Alicia Fox. Oh, dear. Oh, well. What can I say about this one I haven't said already? Natalia one. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'd imagine her hometown with the whole anvil thing. Mm. With the sharpshooter. Yeah, and then she pointed up to the heavens and was like, that's for you, Dad. That's for you, Daddy. Ah, <laughs> oh, and for no reason whatsoever, the entry to the Bellas, who have now informed us that uh, they're coming back next week. Right. And they're going to be facing off against. The Riot Squad. Oh, God. Yeah, Hopefully boy. not Ruby Riot. Oh. Leave her in the back. There's young children in the audience. She makes kids cry. Oh, it ain't God. Halloween yet. <laughs> oh, my God. Right. Moving on. Someone who you mentioned earlier is in action. Though. Hey. Finally. The former owner of the yard. Oh. Bob Lashley. Yeah, he had it for a couple of days. <laughs> Maybe a week. He was facing off in a handicap match against the Ascension. Oh, wow. Oh, we completely forgot about them. Yeah. Well, this probably isn't good news for the Ascension. <laughs> no. No, it was not. See, this is the kind of thing I dislike. In a two-on-one match, the two guys should be going over the one. Yeah. You'd expect it. But no, this was not even close. The Ascension got their asses handed to them. Makes you wonder back when they were in NXT and like they were treated as a proper tag team. Yeah. You know, but... This ended pretty quickly. Pretty... Convincingly, Bob picked up the victory. I believe it was with the Dominator. Yeah. Or a version of it. Yeah, it was. So, next match. We had Lunatic. Oh my god. Dean Ambrose facing off against Jinder. Well, that's disappointing. I mean, I was interested to see what Ambrose was going to come back and be like. He doesn't wrestle with his with his tank top on anymore. No, no, he doesn't. He's going to go on shirtless. Yeah. I won't shock you to know that Ambrose picked up the victory in this one with uh, Dirty D. Yeah. Not as good as the one he did to Dolph last week. Oh, jeez. Where he like, caught him in midair and then dropped him. Yeah, that was, uh, that was nasty. But no, he got Jinder, he dropped him with it. And you, know, you can't say you don't deserve it. <laughs> That's what you get for rattering on about peace and love in the back. <sighs> so, we now move on to our main event. Already? Yeah. Okay. Tag team action. For no reason whatsoever. Roman and Braun versus... Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre. Oh, yeah, yeah. They they announced this one earlier in the night because when Broman was doing his promo, 
Ziggles and McIntyre came out. And they were like, ah, oh, you two need to stop wrestling. We need to stop all the drama. We're the future. Really? Well, Drew maybe. Dolph not so much. And yeah, Corbin made the match. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, yeah, it was, it, was white, I suppose. it was a weird one because all throughout the match, Roman wouldn't tag. Right. So he would not tag out. But He's a big dog. He can do it all on his own. And I was like, you know what? They did this storyline last month with Bob Lashley. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not repeating themselves too much, are they? Ah, and then when it finally came to it, and you thought, okay, he's going to make the tag this time. Yeah. Braun wouldn't tag him. No. Nope. So then Drew and Dolph started uh, double teaming and half anticipating Braun to then get in the ring. But he didn't. No. Oh. I'm not sure what the official decision was. Did they throw the match out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was a DQ, Braun and Roman one, because. Uh, Whoever was in the link or the right. legal man will get out of the room. And the then camp. Braun got in the ring and you were like, okay, now he's going to help out. No! No, he didn't. Braun Strowman has turned his back on the WWE Universe and Ugh. they couldn't care less. They were just happy to see, oh, man, we finally got it. Braun grabbed Roman Grabbed his top and said, I'm not done with you yet, Roman. <laughs> yeah, he did it again. And he hit him with the running power slam. Yes, and Ambrose and Rollins came out as well to try and help out. Got their asses kicked as well. But I think Ambrose took the Claymore zigzag combo. Yeah, yeah. And, that's and Rollins took the power slam from mm. Roman. Mm. What a horrible decision. Well, that's because he's going against Roman. You know, Roman can't be a heel. No, but they won't boo Strowman. Oh, no. Oh, no. He will be beating the ever-loving crap out of Roman, and then the fans will be chanting, one more time, or, yay, yeah. or you deserve it. Mm, yeah. Oh, and then let's not forget, this is also leading to the pointless, pointless show next month. In Australia, where apparently it's going to be the Shield versus Braun and Dolph and Drew. Ugh. But it doesn't need the Shield. It didn't no. need them last year when they reformed. You didn't need them reforming this year. See, my years, I would have kept them separate until Undisputed Era get called up. That's when I would have brought the Shield yeah. back together. Well, plus, as well, this is all this is all bloody forced and. It's probably inevitably leading up to Ambrose turning heel on him. Great. Not that they're trying to replicate history or anything. No, no, no. They, they don't do that. <laughs> so, yeah. Braun has turned his back on the WWE Universe. And that was how we ended Raw. <laughs> uh, meh. Yeah. Who I think is the rating for this week's show. It's a good rating. Yeah. So, we're not going to ramble anymore on this one. No. From your hosts, the master of the brain damage. Martin. And the one and only Sam H. We'll see you again for the next one.